Hey, I just wanted to do a real quick video on one of my favorite characters from lore so far, Mr. Bagley. Now, before I dive in, I want to explain why I creepily have this audio in the first place. The reason why is because during the opening weekend of lore, we were in a record-breaking heat wave in Utah, and I didn't feel like wearing my full costume or carrying around a bag or having a notebook and pen in it. So, since I would have my phone, because this is 2022, I don't make the rules, I, I just follow them. I'm going to have my cell phone. I decided to just leave a recording in my pocket the whole time. And I'm glad that I did, because now I can share what it was like when I first met Mr. Bagley. Enjoy. Why, why would you think right. that I am a speaker? Because I, I can't even with Mr. Bagley here. It's too him. It's fine. Our binoism is a thing, right? That's not what I'm seeing. It's... Well, you can see him, so that's a good sign. Yeah, well, you apparently world walkers can see ghosts. What? That's what the doctor said. Okay, or the, the mayor, true. sorry. Yeah. That's true, the doctor does know his thing. Alright, well... You can see ghosts. That's what he said. I, I, I think I'm looking one in the eye right now. Well, no, we, we can see... He's a person, we can see him. Do you know what that's, that is? That's Mr. Bagley. He's an adventurer like us. He's not a ghost. I can't tell because he's speaking out loud. Was there like quotation marks around that or asterisks? Or of which word? Of which Just the whole human no. mostly, I think. What are you talking about? He's a ghost. He's alive. Like he, like he was at one point, yeah. Well, I mean, yes, and he currently, what do you and, mean? And currently, yes. Miss Bagley, are you alive right now? I should hope so. That's not a yes. If I was dead, I would hope I was alive as well. Yes. Look at him. Picture of health right there. Yeah, the picture of health. I'm alive. Yes. I'm alive. With a straight face and all. Yes. I'm feeling the picture of health. He looks like he died a year ago. Nah, he's fine. It'll be alright. Yeah, it'll be alright in my nightmares Mr. tonight. Mr. Begley will survive us all. He, he already hasn't, is the problem. Alright, so I feel like there's a couple people coming. I'll meet up with you lot later. Alright. It's been, it's been a pleasure. Has it? Well, that's a very good question. No, that's fast. I would hope to. As I was getting out of the way for the next World Walker in line, I couldn't help but bring the topic up to them on my way out. Yeah. Mr. Bagley's dead, have you noticed that? He's not dead. He's have you noticed the deceased man walking among them? He's right there. He has ceased to be. Yeah. He is no longer among the living. He's very much among the living. Yeah, he's among, he's just not among. Yeah. So when I came back to camp a little bit later, Amaranth was there, and this time they actually brought it up. You notice his gun? Yes. He said he shoots ghosts with it. I do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's, there certainly is. So Amaranth just aptly pointed out that there was a ghost directly behind Richard Adderley Esquire, or Little Dicky. That ghost was Harold Bagley right behind him. But watch how Mr. Bagley flips this, because in the same direction, like 200 yards out, was another ghost in the park. There certainly is a ghost behind him, yeah. Lord Chamberlain, yeah. Lord Chamberlain? Oh, is that Lord Chamberlain? Oh, you have the canny ability to be able to see a ghost. Yeah. I don't understand no, right, it. right down the field the from a mile off. I, I, I think you're some sort of, um, <laughs> impact. Wait. Yes. So you can see, oh, you can see Chamberlain yes. or whatever. Do you sure. see him? <sighs> yeah. Yes. The man in all white. Yeah, That's no, usually I see how it. you can tell the two Augustans. Oh, he's not even trying to hide it. You heard that, right? No, I didn't hear. What did he say? You can recognize a ghost because they're in all white. Just, just write out loud. What is that about? Yes. Mr. Bagley just has uh, yeah, a very odd, the, yeah. but good, sense of style. He knows really how to coordinate with his complexion. Yes. No, that's not how that works. What, what do you mean? If you wear the same color as your skin, it's not. That's not the style. You have to contrast with it. You know, it's, oh, it's a bit really. I try and do it myself, but I, I can't quite I imagine. Really so I have to cut in here again because this experience was entirely visual. There was a world walker who was walking up, and to be polite, I introduced her to the Adventurers Guild. And she just completely silently walked up and placed one of these tiny little ducks in the hand of little Dickie and then myself. Um, mine was white. 
it wasn't this same one. This one kind of cycled around on a later day. Um, but anyway, that's what's about to happen. So we I mean, met the adventurous guild. How do we stop the Oh, that's it. You know what that means? Is this? Yeah, it's a secret dog? handshake. It's a oh, it's a little duck. Oh, listen. And pray is something that you. Oh. Well. Thank you. Mine's a swan. Jeez. This is without a word. No, that's a, that's a big duck. So little Dickie just pointed out that my duck looks like a Mr. Bagley duck. So I decided I'd go talk to him about it. Mr. Bagley. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this duck alive. It looks as though it is made of porcelain or plastic. Yeah. So I because it's completely no. white, you'd say probably no. No, because it is not moving. Yeah. Also, most ducks are not that size. Scarlet. You really ought to study biology, you know, good man. All right. Goodbye. Well, see you, Mr. Bagley. So after being thoroughly destroyed by Mr. Bagley there, I went back and talked to little Dicky for a little while. And a, a couple of moments later, Mr. Bagley, the most hilarious thing, just walked right in between us with... This ethereal groan. Like <laughs> he pulled this move on. He says, "No, no, no." Uh, are you all right, Mr. Did he just Bailey? do a ghostly wail right between us? No, he's just what? gasping. You for air. Air. Mr. Bagley, breathe, breathe he in through the mouth. He doesn't need to anymore. He's done breathing, and he's been done breathing. I can't hear you. There's a man screaming in my ear. Maybe you can't hear him because you don't have some kind of ghostly hearing device. No, I don't Would actually. Would you mind your manners? You're right. You're right. Goodbye. Goodbye, Miss I hope you will not. Oi. You've been here an hour and you've already angered people. That's what I do. <laughs> they told me I had to leave. Hey, do you see that? Do you see that man right there? Yes. What is? What is? Is he a human? What would you think if if what just he, uh... just if you had to guess? What would you think? Uh, some sort of ghoul. Perhaps a robot, but most likely a ghoul. Yeah. That's my thought too, but nobody else seems to see anything wrong about him. <laughs> just, just oh, he's the best adventurer here. <laughs> regular old mate. <laughs> Just another pal. So, increasingly curious about this whole thing, I went and talked to the aforementioned other ghost about what is going on. Oi, you dead? What tipped you off? <laughs> Apparently I have to be real careful about asking, have you met whatever Caesar's? Oh, yes, yes, um... So he's dead, right? We're Lord on the same page Archibald about Archibald Chamberlain at your service. Yeah, no, it's not answering the question, though. Are we? He's dead? Or no, it's not dead. <laughs> yes, well, uh, um, let us stand up. Oh, yeah, sorry. Thank you, sorry about that. No, you know, you don't have to be. I'm the one who should be. <laughs> yes. To answer your question, my friend, yeah, yeah. Mr. Bagley is in fact dead. All right. He has been for a while now, but not very long at all. In the ghost terms, right? No, just, yes, just a very short amount of time. We aren't exactly sure what happened, but we know that it was sudden and unexpected. So he doesn't know he's dead, perhaps? No, he does not. He doesn't know. And it needs to stay that way. You see, here's the thing. If people go about telling ghosts that they've died before they're ready to accept it, then very bad things happen. At the absolute best, they go mad, irrevocably. Very bad. At the worst, I've seen ghosts whose souls have been rendered apart, ripped to bits, and sent to God knows where. Is there something we can do to prepare him for that so he doesn't meet that fate, or is it just... He will just need to figure it out on his own time. Yeah. There's some part of him that knows that he's passed on. Hmm. You know, there has to be, as he is dead. But if we force it on him before he's ready to accept it, then dreadful things will come to pass. So he must come to it on his own terms. And that's dreadfully important. Yeah. All right, don't want to take too much of your time. Although I assume you've got a lot of it. But... <laughs> How'd you die? Splendid. Ooh, that's a very good For another time, maybe. Oh, of course, of course. But I, I shall be honored to regain. All right. 
So now better understanding his predicament, I started to feel kind of guilty about the way I acted with the whole thing. Are you sure you do not want to join the squad? I came back to apologize, Mr. Bagley. Just arrived here in town and not even 30 minutes in, I made a complete arse of myself, so for that I am sorry. Apology accepted. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, I'll join Squawk if you got room. Very oh, good. Oh, oh, room. Room. Not because of death already. No, definitely not because of that. Oh, uh, what was that? What? what? Your first half. High turnover job. Uh, Can Your be. first half. Anyway, I could not have had more fun with those guys. The, the entire concept of incompetent ghost hunters having an actual ghost in their membership is just chef's kiss peak writing. Um, lore's great. I was gonna say a thing, but then it just all disappeared and I didn't know what You sure? Yeah, no. The ghost no. stole it. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Oh, all right. No. Yeah, no, keep an eye out. Be a ghost around here. Yeah. <clears throat> Stealing my thoughts. No, certainly there couldn't be a ghost around here. You, you lot would have spotted him by now. Yeah. All right.